Hello, and welcome back to Medicinal Herbs Discovered. Today we will be discussing the herb clove. The herbal name for clove is Cisgisium aromaticum. First, let's take a look at the actual clove plant. Clove grows as a small evergreen tree with large, oblong, bright green leaves. Clove has peach flowers. After petal fall, a calyx or bud turns from yellow to reddish brown. This calyx is what we harvest as medicine. The primary constituents of the clove plant is eugenol and caryophyllin. We will discuss these constituents in depth in our recommended uses section of this video. Now, let's look at the action and energetics of the clove plant. Clove is a sweet, pungent, warming, aromatic herb. It is considered a heating and drying stimulation herb. In Ayurvedic medicine, clove will increase pitta. Clove is most well known as a local anesthetic, especially for individuals with dental pain. Clove's anesthetic ability is accomplished by its constituent, eugenol. Eugenol inhibits COX-2 receptors. Eugenol also inhibits sodium channels and deactivates TRPV. TRPV is a receptor that will detect environmental stimuli. When suppressed, it provides an anesthetic or numbing sensation. This use of clove is well known by those who use holistic dental care. Clove provides up to a 60% decrease in pain due to its numbing effects. Clove is also known to be antibacterial. Clove's constituent, eugenol, disrupts the bacterial cell wall. This leads to the breakdown of the bacterial cell and is especially effective when combating gram-negative bacteria. Those who can benefit from this antibacterial use of cloves include those suffering from hemorrhoids and anal fissures, as topical application helps to soothe these areas and keeps them from getting infected. Clove is also an excellent antifungal agent. Eugenol and caryophyllin inhibit fungal enzymes that break down the human cells. In this way, fungus becomes ineffective at trying to invade the human body. Those suffering from yeast infections can greatly benefit from the antifungal nature of clove, since it has a much safer side effect profile than traditional antifungal creams. So, where do cloves grow? Cloves grow in humid, tropical, and subtropical climates and grow zones 11 through 12. Clove can be harvested six to 10 years after planting. The full maturity of a clove tree takes about 15 to 20 years. The clove calyxes can be harvested when they turn a deep reddish brown. The most common way to preserve clove is by drying or by steam distillation into an extract. Clove is a relatively safe herb. However, overuse or extreme high doses can result in permanent numbness and skin irritation. Clove is contraindicated in those suffering from hypertension or high blood pressure, as clove can also raise blood pressure when taken in high doses. Clove is also incompatible with other commercial medications. These include blood thinners. Since clove has been studied to show a slowing of clot formation, this is especially important for those post-surgery. Some of the most common preparations for clove include a 1 to 3% mouthwash that can be used up to three times per day. Clove can also be compounded into a 1% cream. This is also applied up to three times per day. 
Essential oils have a common concentration of 1.25 to 6.25 milligrams per milliliter. The most common dosing for clove is based on weight. The following doses are based on a 180 pound or 80 kilogram individual. For oral anesthetics, the effective dose is 8 milligrams of clove. The dosing is similar for inflammation reduction at 8 milligrams of clove per day. For yeast infection, the extract can be utilized in a 10 milligram dose. This extract is usually compounded into a topical ointment or cream for easier application. So, who are cloves for? Adults? Yes! Kids? No. Pregnancy? No. Lactation? No. Remember, always ask your doctor before starting any new medication or supplement. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to Medicinal Herbs Discovered. We post new top 5 videos every week as well as a new Herb of the Week video every Friday afternoon. If you have enjoyed this video, you may also enjoy these playlists featuring our previous Herbs of the Week or top 5 videos organized by medical condition or ailment. Thanks and happy watching!